Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. This is our October 2017 BMW 430D Grand Coupe M Sport. This car was registered in October, end of October 2017. The car has only got uh, just over 20,000 miles on it with full service history. Finished in mineral grey metallic. Apologies for the sound in the background. We've got quite a lot of heavy rain outside. The whole car has been detailed and machine polished to a really high level. If I come in close, we've been using a, a new wall pad and a, a new cutting compound. And as you can see, look at the finish on that bodywork. There's a lot of time and effort put into bringing the cars up to this sort of condition. We've got the BMW LED lights at the front. We've put some uh, black gloss grills in the front. They're genuine BMW grills. We've got front and rear parking sensors with a rear camera as well, front fog lights. But coming close, you can see there's, there aren't really any chips. There's some very tiny, you get some very tiny, I can't even show them on the camera, they're that small. Nothing really, just sort of, not even a pinprick sort of size. You just come out for life. If I come across the front here, you can see how nice this paintwork is. Come up over the middle, tiny, there it is then. There you go, tiny little, Capri dot just in the middle there, but that's you know, but I'm zooming right in to, to get that. But there's nothing on the top of the bonnet, or the back of the bonnet, all in beautiful condition. All the glass is in nice condition as well. Come up onto the roof, there's no nasty marks on there. It's got a beautiful glossy shine on the bonnet, brings it all the way down to the back. Really lovely, no ding dents or scratches. Let's bring you in. We've got the 704M alloy wheels, the 19 inch wheels. Come to the front. Wheel there is all in lovely condition. I'll just come back, and give you a side profile of the car. We've got the sun protection glass at the back. Got electric folding mirrors on this car as well. Just show you that all the wing mirrors, no damage on there either. Well, it's really, really nice car. Really, really nice. <laughs> Let's not get too excited. That wheel's all in nice condition. Let's show you the rear one. All in nice condition. A little bit of surface rust on the brake discs there which is just from where they've been washed over but uh, they're not uh, got anything more than that really no scratches like I say the LED rear lights as well let's just come back out on this side of the car got the car running at the moment so all lovely under there sorry from there sorry Get confused what part of the car I'm looking at okay all nice at the back as well no scratches nothing down low either rear parking sensors pipes running on Bridgestone Potenzas. Let's take a look inside. All the black gloss has been machine polished as well. I'll show you up on the back here. Look, all in lovely condition. We've got the ivory white. Let me just check it is. I'm sure it is. Yep, yeah, this is the ivory white Dakota leather, which is slightly lighter. 
a nicer colour. Bear with me, I'm just going to turn the radio down. I didn't realise the radio was playing. I've got the Harman Kardon sound system. So, sorry, I was just picking up the paperwork that I just dropped. Okay, so you've got your Harman Kardon speakers up there. Again, down in the door. We've got the fine line anthracite wood uh, inlay. We've, uh, up on the top here, it's got this lovely metal inlay running through it. Interior lighting as well. Electric seats. All of the leather is in really nice condition. There's a very, I don't know if you can see it, there's a very fine line just running through there. Hardly noticeable, but just uh, pointing that out. All the bolsters are in nice condition. The sides of the seat, the bolsters, they inflate with this rocker button. So this section here, and again there, inflate to hold you into the seat tighter. We've got the puddle lights underneath. And you'll notice all the seals and the rubbers around the door, aperture, all in lovely condition, beautifully clean, shiny. We'll come back to the front of the car in a minute. Take a look in the back. Again, this door card, all in lovely condition. No damage on the edges or anything. Puddle lights down there. And if we look at the seal, it's not had any seat belts jammed in it or anything. I think I can relax now. I was worried it was going to rain so hard that you wouldn't be able to hear me, but it's eased off a bit now. So you've got the nice black carpets inside with the ivory um, white Dakota leather. So there's no fear of like cream carpets and stuff to get dirty. Center armrest there. LED lights on the interior. Now, when I open up the boot, I haven't got the key in my hand, so. We'll start off down here. So as you see, no nasty scratches. Look all the way. Everything is clean, we're very particular. The guys do a great job. Two people spend over a day on a car, one doing the interior and one doing the exterior. See how nice the carpets are. And all under here in lovely condition. Do you know what? If we look in here as well, just look how clean it is in here. This is an area most detailers wouldn't even think about going, but it's all nice and clean. And then all the parcel shelf. And I've checked this one out, this one's all okay as well. Let's close that down. So no scratches around here as mentioned. door card on this side just having a look round yeah that's all clear nothing on there again let's turn this round that's just a reflection near the catch if I move it you'll see it moves it's not a scratch I'm talking about this bit here if I do that you see it moves it's just the lights above in that you've also got the darker stitching so it sort of contrasts it's really quite nice let's get that in focus for you there we go in fact, while we're in the back might be a good idea let's um flip that. okay We'll come round to the front in a minute. I thought we might take advantage of. Okay. I just 
just hold there for a second and come in. We've got the touch screen navigation, dual climate control, heated seats. Eight speed ZF auto gearbox. Okay, so let's uh, jump out the back. Show you around the driver door handle, there's no scratches, nothing on the edges of the door either. Let's open up this one. Let's flip these lights off for a second. And look at this door card. Puddle lights, all nice under there. Sorry about the shaking around. And then if we come down here, got the memory seat on the driver's side. All nice in there. I'll jump in the car now. Right, so we have, if we press this button a second time, let's get this in focus. Right, that's out as far as it'll go, I think. There we go. So touchscreen nav, so we can move all these into whichever order we want. I'll use the iDrive wheel just for a second, keep my hands out the way. Got all the sub menus down the side here. We go to direction of travel. We can save, save it on number seven. We can save some of the windows in here onto the numbers. And we can save telephone numbers, radio stations, which is really handy. So you can shortcut, we'll put this on number eight. Just by gliding your finger across the button, you can see. So if I press number seven now, we stored the other view. It changes, go back to eight. So you can make up shortcuts, etc. And then we've got the dual climate control. We've got heated seats. We go back up onto the menu. This car's due its service. The car's only just come in. So it's just about to go for the, so it's a good stop beginning so the PDI and then its first service is two years or 19,000 miles so this was done on the time rather than the mileage that's oil and micro filter and the next service is due now if we have a look it's actually due this month as you can see um, the 8th 21 so it's due to go into our BMW specialist the service will be put into the iDrive and onto the BMW database as well so it shows with BMW that's the vehicle check. The brake fluid is not due till next year. The first one's done on the third year, and then after that, it's every two years. So that's all as it should be. Front pads have 19,000 miles remaining, and rear pads have 32. Let's come out of there. I've got the media. Bluetooth audio, music collection is the hard drive, dab stations, so everything in there, and you can adjust the Harman card and sound system on here. In fact, let's just make sure that's quite is yet. Okay, come out of there. Communication, connective drive, this is a subscription based thing where you can have uh, different apps and stuff in there. Notifications, we that's for the service. So we've then got our ZF eight speed gearbox. Go into drive, if you go into reverse, we've got the reverse camera and the parking sensors show up on the left, we've got front and rear parking sensors. So we come out of there, let's turn that off. 
So on the gearbox, the eight-speed gearbox, this is the ZF box. It's one of the best gearboxes on the market. If we come back into drive, which we are, over to the left, will then put you into sport automatic. If we pull one of the paddles, it'll put you into manual mode. And then to put it back into auto mode, just flip it back to the right. That'll be auto for drive. If you want it back in auto for sport, flick it back over to the left again. And then we've got our driving dynamics down here. So we've got Eco Pro. You can configure the sport. The coasting's a nice feature. If you see the efficiency showing at 92%, if you take coasting off it drops down to 82 the coasting allows the car almost to go into neutral um, i'm not sure it actually goes into neutral but it's it, i think that's what happens and it's sort of coast so there's no engine braking basically so if you're approaching a junction and you ease off nice and early it allow the car to coast up to the junction thus saving you fuel and then down on here on this display it will show you in blue your added fuel consumption uh, your average, sorry, blah, 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 let's start again, it will show you the extra mileage you're getting from the fuel saving that you've created from your driving style. <laughs> okay. We come down to here, we've got speed limiter and cruise control, which you can adjust with the rocker button, voice control, the mode button. So when we press this mode button, this brings up what's called the full black panel display. You've got all your dab stations in there. If you press the mode button again, it goes to FM, AM, the music collection being the hard drive, and CD, and then the phone button. Oh, is there a CD in there? Let's have a look. I think there might be. If we press the telephone, if the telephone's connected, it'll bring up the uh, last dialed numbers. There is a CD in there. I've got no idea who it is, so we won't play it, just in case it embarrasses me. <laughs> anyway, right, let's put the handbrake back on. Let's make sure we're back in park. So we've looked all around here. All of the uh, wood is all in nice condition. The camera tends to pick up all these little fine scratches. Um, we are gonna run a little, we've got a very small machine polisher that we're gonna run over that. Um, that will take out those little, it's just where people wipe it with cloths, but we're going to run a, a mop over that. We've got a small mop that will polish that up. We've got all the books in here. Just worth pointing out, on the iDrive, if you go down to Owner's Handbook, this is basically everything that's actually in the car. So what's listed on here is what's listed on the car. I'm just going to search for one thing. I'm not too sure if it's on the car or not. Why? And it's, oh hang on, we got B, we wanted a D. Deed? Why? So, I was looking for dynamic damping, which is not on there, which just proves the point that it wasn't on the spec check either. So everything on here is what's on the car. If we go back in, owner's handbook. There are animations to show you how things work on there as well. Little Cruise videos. control with braking function enables you we to... We won't go through that now. Okay, so let's take a look under the bonnet. Two pulls. Oops. So under the bonnet, all this is cleaned by hand using a WB40. Focus. I can just show you how nice and clean all the leaves are hoovered out to make sure. There's no sludge left in there or anything. clean down in here as well. And look up here. Again, just as shiny almost as the outside. Somehow I've put it on zoom. 
that's better. So the difference between a 430 and a 435 is essentially the power and the fact that the 430 has one turbo. It is a twin power turbo, so it's dual, dual uh, core, so two inlets on the turbo. And these run at about 254 brake horsepower, opposed to the 335 running around about 309, which is 315 PS. Now, with a remap, we do a Celtic tuning remap, that power from the 430 can be increased to 310 brake horsepower and 640 newton meters of torque. Uh, that's actually 10 newton meters of torque more than the 335. Obviously, if you remap to 335, it would go higher still. But if you're looking for a 435, and there are not many around, not many nice ones anyway, with nice mileage and stuff, then you could get a 430 and, uh, and have it retuned. The 435 is also X drive. There's pros and cons for the X drive. Obviously, better traction when pulling away. Obviously, ideal in slippery surfaces. But you know, depending where you live in the country, um, the, the, the slight downfall on an, an X drive is you have to make sure you change the tyres. Um, you can't like put new tyres on the front and have the rears on four mil. It's not good for the four wheel drive system. So depending on the state of the tyres, you might have to change all four in one go. So like I say, pros and cons, you don't necessarily need four wheel drive. There's uh, probably a little bit better fuel economy on this, a little bit less weight as well. And the X drive sit higher off the floor as well. You tend to find there's a, a larger gap between the wheel arch and the tyres as well, because the four wheel drive system running underneath brings the height of the car up anyway it's a stunning looking car like I say 20, just over 20,000 miles on the car if you have any questions please give us a call we've got some uh, fantastic warranties uh, extended warranties as well which uh, aren't affected if you have a remap as well so that's all good and we've got finance options, etc. So thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.